All right, hey guys, uh, Spider here. So uh, as you can see behind me, the car is still in pieces. Um, had some stuff going on this year. Uh, it's kind of delayed everything a little bit. So we'll get back on the car probably this spring, um, somewhere around June, once I wrap up all this other stuff I got going on job-wise and uh, personal stuff. Uh, but yeah, the car's still there. All the parts are still there. So we'll get it all fixed up with the Haltech stuff that I got and we'll get the car back out. Uh, hopefully July ish is what I'm looking at for a time frame on that. But this video is something different. Um, during the COVID stuff, me and my buddies, we couldn't race. So we came up a little something that we could still meet up and still have some fun. And, um, since everybody had kids at one point here and some of us even still had our Hot Wheels cars left over, uh, you know, matchbox, Hot Wheels, whatever kind of die cast we had. Um, I, I rounded up some scrap wood and some pieces and parts from different kits and stuff that I had laying here from my kids. And, uh, let me just show you what I got here. Hold on. So what we got is Scrapwood Raceway Park. And the reason why it's named Scrapwood is because literally this is all scrap wood and scrap timber and whatever else trim that I had just laying around the garage. And uh, we uh, hooked up one of these little Hot Wheels launchers here. And um, I bought this timing system off of Amazon for like 50, 60 bucks. And uh, Wednesday nights, few of us will get over and in about an hour or so we're gonna have a few guys over here and we're actually gonna run a race um, so we got a few rules and uh, here's the rules um, so generally we run what's what we consider to call it a stock class which is in, the cars have to be over 30 grams which we'll measure them actually because we cheat people cheat uh, everybody's looking for a way out so we realized with a launcher system the lighter the car, the quicker it is. So if the car is 30 grams or over, it's legal as long as it's unmodified. So what we found is all kinds of different Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Ertles, you name it, whatever. If it's a 164th, it's legal. But it can be stock unmodified for that class. We also have a couple different classes we run once in a while. Uh, the big one's unlimited. And uh, you can see there, no weight limit five and a quarter inches long maximum four wheels must make contact other than that you can do anything you want uh, once in a while we'll run the comp class there's not many of them that are under 30 grams so uh, nostalgia is like your older like your army funny cars and stuff like that that are all like 50 60 70 grams so sometimes we'll get like nostalgia cars together and we'll run those but tonight's probably just going to be our usual what we call stock which will be most of these cars laid out here and you'll get to see a few of us together as you can see, the track's got everything. It's got track prep. We got safety crew. We got some construction going on here. We even got an airlift chopper here. And um, so we'll get started. I hear one of the guys already pulled in. So we'll get started here in a couple of minutes. We'll show you how everything works. Let you meet some of these guys. Little view here, sort of like the pits. Just a few of the cars here. There's the Black Mamba. One of our rules is that if a car wins five races, then that car has to retire. Because uh, it's not fair to everybody else. So the Black Mama was the first car to win five races. She bad. But she got to go in the trailer. She just here just to do grudge races or whatever. But she can't enter anymore. Uh, I've got a few more over here. We got buckets full of cars. Obviously, we're Hot Wheels fans. You know. One of my favorite cars of all time when I was a kid, Fireball Junior, Fairmont. And of course our pro stocks and minivans and everything else we got here. 